Hello everybody, welcome to English for all. I hope you are good day. In my last video I talked about the possible ways of developing introductory paragraph of your essay. Uh, like introductory paragraph, uh, body paragraph is most important. So today I'm gonna tell you something about the possible ways of developing body paragraph of your essay. Um, in the school level or in the college level also, essay writing is most important task. So most of the students they are confused about the ways of developing body paragraph, though they can write the introductory paragraph. So here I'm going to present you some ideas, some ways of developing body paragraph in an easy way. I hope you will enjoy the video, you will watch this video till the end. Uh, so uh, before we begin let's talk about some of the constituents or some of the components within the body paragraph what mechanisms or what components should be included or incorporated in your body paragraphs there are the four things topic sentences supporting details linkers and conclusions so we'll be talking about these four things how do we maintain or how do we incorporate those things in our body paragraphs these are the important things so I uh, will do th these things practically here. Topic sentence. Topic sentence uh, is that sentence which is mentioned in our body paragraph uh, as the guiding sentence or as the main idea of our paragraph. So the topic sentences that should be formed on the basis of our thesis statement that we have um, written or that we have mentioned in our introductory paragraph. And the same topic sentence should explain everything there. Right? So here uh, I'll present you some of the examples of topic sentences and how the body paragraphs are developed on the basis of particular topic sentence. Uh, so and we'll be talking about other things like um, other components that can be uh, used as supporting details also. So here let us talk about uh, the constituents in detail. Topic sentence as I told you uh, just now it is the main idea or it is the guiding idea of a paragraph every paragraph has um, its own idea one main idea so uh, first there should be the topic sentence and it's not always uh, or it's not as a rule that there should be topic sentence at the very first it can be in the middle also it can be in the second sentence of the paragraph also so let us see the topic sentences here uh, these are the very important uh, like uh, main idea they guide our paragraph we can't go between the things they exclude all the main other ideas to be discussed in our body paragraph so you can see is the main idea of body paragraph a paragraph is explored on basis of a topic sentence and this will help our reader to see in which direction the author intends to move or what direction the author intends to move so because of the topic sentence, our readers also or our examiner also can guess what ideas are gonna mention are, are gonna be mentioned in our paragraph or in our body paragraph. So here uh, you can see some examples uh, of topic sentences, how uh, the topic sentences are developed developed here. The topic is or our topic of essay is importance of technology in education and uh, first there should be the thesis statement then on the basis of that thesis we can develop the uh, three main ideas for our three uh, body paragraphs so thesis statement is that new technology is important for a teacher and his students right and topic sentence one is teacher can make use of new technology in order to collect materials and uh, promote his or her professionalism Topic sentence 2 is that students can take help of new technology for their learning and topic sentence 3 is that students can uh, be motivated when they use the new technology or when the teachers use new technology in their classroom. So next is supporting detail. Another constituent of a body paragraph is supporting detail. Whatever ideas we talk about or we mention or we write in our body paragraphs should be supported by the examples, by the facts by the data so that we can make them reliable otherwise our readers or our audience or our examiner they may not believe us right so you can see the things here the examples the sentences there is a great importance of agriculture in development so if we, you are talking about agriculture you see 
this can be a gossip right so the second sentence you can read according to the economic survey agriculture contributes appro approximately 31 percent in the gdp of our country so it's factual right so in if possible as far as possible you should incorporate the data or the facts so that your answer or your ideas will be more relevant or more reliable similarly uh, we have next consti constituent here uh, that is as I told you a linker or the transitional words while we move from one sentence to another or some one ideas to another or while we have to sift our ideas sift our points or sift our, sift our attitude we can change the words or the legends that that are working here or that work uh, in the paragraph or in the text as the linkers to connect the ideas to link the ideas they link the paragraph they link the sentences uh, for example in the same way hence likewise similarly these linkers can be used here so here i'm gonna show you uh, the real way of the, the ex actual way of developing body paragraph with the help of th thesis statement and topic sentences here uh, topic is importance of technology in education and uh, thesis is new technology has become an integral part of education so how is it helpful for teachers and students it is a thesis i have mentioned in body paragraph sorry introductory paragraph this is the introductory paragraph you see here and you see how uh, i have developed the body paragraph body paragraph here body paragraph one so there will be three body paragraphs as school essay has five um, paragraph essay so in my first paragraph um, i should talk about how does new technology help the teachers to for their professionalism or for the teaching profession right because i have talked uh, the same thing in my um, thesis statement in the introductory paragraph so in the whole paragraph uh, i should talk or have talked here about um, how does new technology help or assist teachers in their profession so the recent study shows that approximately 55% of the teachers around the world use new technology. So this is what we call uh, supporting details. So the following things below, uh, below the topic sentence, they support uh, the ideas so that they are called supporting details or supporting ideas. So as I talked about the role of new technology for teachers or the importance of new technology for teachers in the first paragraph, in the second paragraph, uh, I'm talking about the different aspects uh, in order to a relator uh, in order to just make the relationship between body paragraph and thesis statement I have developed in body introductory paragraph so here I have talked about the students how can they make use of new technology for their education for their learning right so they can collect the materials they can interact with teachers and friends and learn everything with phone they don't need to wait the teachers for their learning they can learn themselves they can be the autonomous learners so in this way they can be benefited by the use of next new technology all right so moreover here it is a linker it is it is used as linker right as i told you the transitional words are the linker words uh, so third paragraph as i talked in um, the thesis statement yes i was talking about students motivation really sometimes the technology mediated classrooms like if the teachers they use they make use of new technology like computer internet uh, other many devices like overhead projectors so many things are in the use nowadays so if the teachers they use such things the students will be really motivated so I, in that way we can talk about the body paragraph in this body paragraph i haven't talked about the uh, ways of writing conclusion we'll be writing conclusion uh, next time so next topic is the uh, role of tourism for the economic development of in the power right so our thesis is tourism is the catalyst for economic development of nepal as it helps in earning foreign currency creating employment opportunities now this is uh, my introductory paragraphs so i should talk about how does for foreign employment sorry uh, tourism help in earning foreign currency and how does it help to create or promote employment opportunity in in the nation right so you can see um, how i have mentioned or how i have uh, interrelated such things in my body paragraphs body paragraph one i've talked that the steady flow of the tourist is the best source of earning foreign currency right so we can collect the foreign currency by means of tax by means of revenue and we can collect it through the trade uh, as they buy the things or as they use the uh, accommodations in our country 
So this is how I have uh, written the first paragraph uh, re relating it with my thesis statement that I have written in introductory paragraph. And according to the current 14th economic plan, travel and tourism has generated 49.8 crore dollar in Nepal. So this is the exact data. So sometimes it's really to uh, give data if you are writing it in your exam. If you are doing this at home, you can source the uh, data and you can write it. So body paragraph 2, um, it creates, tourism creates new employment uh, opportunities and helps to heal the unemployment problem of Nepal. So this is how I have talked about unemployment as I uh, made my thesis uh, like uh, um, employment opportunities, right? So here sometimes tourism creates seasonal employment, partial employment and long-term opportunities, long-term employment opportunities. So these is, this is how tourism uh, can create employment opportunities, right? So when the tourists come here, uh, they need for tourist guide and they need other helpers so that uh, some people will be at least em employed there. This is how I talked about the second paragraph. In the third paragraph, a considerable flow of tourists in Nepal results in promotion of trade. This is the uh, topic sentence here. And this topic sentence has been um, explained or this, this has been justified down, right? So if the tourists come here in our country, they will buy the things, they will um, use so many uh, products of our nation so that it can uh, increase our trade or it can help in the promotion our a promotion of our trader they will buy the handicrafts as our country is uh, supposed to be it's rich in handicrafts and uh, other local products also so uh, this will really help in the promotion of trade so in this way three body paragraphs uh, have been developed with the help of three uh, different topic sentences now next topic is causes and effects of social problems uh, let us see what is the thesis statement of this uh, cause and effect essay. This cause and effect essay is written in a bit different way. There are two patterns, uh, AB, AB, or we say AA, BB. We can write uh, causes, uh, effects, cause, effects, cause, effects also. In one paragraph, cause, in another paragraph, effects also. We can write in that way. So, um, my thesis here is literacy. Uh, trust and irrational beliefs, poverty, lack of awareness are some of the causes and which have brought so many negative results or negative consequences in our society. Let us see how illiteracy, poverty and lack of awareness are mentioned in our body paragraphs. Illiteracy, I have mentioned this in the first uh, body paragraph. This is the uh, topic sentence and this has been justified here. And uh, I have talked uh, cause and effect in the same paragraph, right? Uh, first cause and second effect. The so cause is that illiteracy and effect is the people are unaware about their fundamental rights uh, which, has cre which has created a problem in the society. Second body paragraph is that is problem is cause is obsolete poverty, right? So there is obsolete po poverty and because of that uh, there are, there is lack of employment opportunities also. And as a result, uh, people are uh, believed that they are compelled or forced to practice anti-social norms like child marriage, gambling, human trafficking, terrorism, Devki and Joma Prata. This is because of poverty or this is because of uh, lack of employment opportunities, right? So these cause and effects, they have, they have been uh, mentioned or uh, they, have been they have been written in the same body paragraph. Next is despite the fact that they are theoretical in they haven't been aware of uh, bad impacts. This is lack of awareness. Like people are not aware about the social problem. This is one of the causes, lack of awareness. And effect, this is how um, it is the problem or it is the obstacle or hindrance for the development of society. And we let's move to the next um, topic and, ne uh, and next body paragraph. Importance of li using library. So library is of uh, uh, more importance for teachers and students, right? So uh, here you can see the thesis. One can uh, this is the uh, by the way general statement, and our thesis is uh, given below there. I have underlined, uh, I have highlighted the things there. Library is not a mere collection of series of books, rather the mean best means of making teachers resourceful and promoting autonomous learning of the student. So library, both teachers and students will be benefited by the use of library. This is the thesis statement here and I should be talking about how teachers 
can be resourceful and how students can have their autonomous learning by the use of library in my body paragraphs and in my topic sentences below. Uh, so here uh, I have uh, got two ideas, two main ideas, teachers and students learning, right? So I'll be talking about teachers, resourceful teachers and autonomous learning of the students. So first paragraph or for the first topic sentence is library is very useful for the teachers as they can make use of it for gathering teaching learning materials and they can avoid the complications or difficulties of their teaching learning, right? So this is how I talked about the, this uh, in the supporting detail and therefore that means therefore it's highlighted there that is the linker or that is how I have concluded that particular body paragraph there. Sometimes we can conclude our body paragraph also not only conclusion, concluding paragraph we can conclude that within body paragraph also. So body paragraph 2 there let's see the topic sentence library plays significant role in students life. So as I talked about uh, how does it help library help in teachers life. Uh, teachers uh, for their professionalism or for their profession. I have to talk about how are the students uh, benefited by the use of library in the second paragraph. They can have their autonomous learning. They don't need to wait the teachers for their learning if they get the books, right? They can learn themselves also. So uh, students are really benefited by the use of library. In the third paragraph, I've talked about um, a bit different thing. The habit of visiting library and reading books of one interest, one's interest, lessons means decreases the student's probability of being engaged in bad company and meaningless activities like uh, they can be engaged in a uh, bad peer group also sometimes if the students they are free. So that uh, at that time when they read their books uh, like a say book, uh, novels, autobiographies, stories, study stories, so uh, they will get some spiritual ideas, they will build the moral char character characters in their way they can learn here. So I hope you got some ideas about the ways of developing body paragraphs with the help of topic sentences after we uh, write the uh, th thesis statement in our introductory paragraph. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe for uh, more details and subscribe for more videos. This will uh, really encourage me in um, giving you or in making other videos about essay writing next i'll be talking about the ways of writing conclusion how to write conclusion because most of the students after they write introductory paragraph and body paragraph often ask the question the ways uh, about uh, the ways of writing concluding paragraph because concluding paragraph is really important as um, it is a mini essay it is called mini essay or it uh, completely shows what main ideas have been developed or what main ideas have been uh, mentioned or written in our uh, introductory paragraph and body paragraph. So, uh, I'll be talking about the ways of writing concluding paragraph in my next video. Thank you everybody. Have a nice time.